So to start the demo, I'm just going to jump right into the Luster non-color adjusted catalog. And there's two ways to start ordering. You can just click on this. It's linkable. And it links right into the uh, catalog. Or you go to Start Ordering, and you would choose from a drop-down. I'm going to go ahead and just click on the link itself. And you can see I'm automatically in the Luster No Color Corrections catalog. Um, for future reference, there is a tutorial in here that you might want to um, access. Uh, at, and uh, you can click on this link at any time. And I want to get right into it on how to build your packages. So we have the different tabs here. We have units, half units, a la carte. Um, these, um, when we say units, we're just talking pretty much about anything that is a 10-inch print. So it could be an 8 by 10 8 wallets. Um, the goal here is to have the images come off of our machines in one shot. So if, like, let's say your package A included two 5 by 7s and 8 by 10 and 8 wallets. Um, you would upload the one image. We'll print all three, come off the machine in the exact same order. Um, so that would be a 10-inch unit. And of course, it's going to help you guys keep everything in order to deliver to the school or to the parents um, by, by the student. So we're going to go ahead and click on an 8x10 just so I can kind of get my anchor product to start off. Which most packages pretty much do include an 8x10, so it's safe to say that. Um, so the 8x10 template you can see in the middle here. And then this icon right here, hard to describe, it's a little white diamond with the kind of blue uh, diamonds underneath. If you click on that, and you can see if I hover my mouse, it says, show packages and clusters controls. This is uh, the button we would need to click to activate the packaging tool. So as you can see, I had a little pop-up here. This little bar right here came up. And I'll get back to that later, but that's how you know that we're able to start creating packages. So we're going to pretend that my first package has three units. So we have the 8x10. Let's go ahead and add eight wallets. And to do that, sorry, you just want to click and drag. It's really important that you click and drag. If you just click, then you're going to replace what was already there. As you can see, what I, I just did that there. So let's go back, click the 8x10, drag and drop our wallets. OK, there we go. That's fine. So we have the eight wallets, 8x10. I'm going to go ahead and also add, let's do 5 by 7 for wallet product. And while we're at it, let's just do one more product. We'll do two 5 by 7s So now I have four units in my package. And we'll just call it package A. And uh, before I save this product, I'm going to go ahead and open um, an image folder just so you guys can see what everything looks like when we actually drag and drop and kind of place an order. So I do have one folder already open here. Um, and the cool thing about this new version of Rose that happened this year is you can open multiple folders. And then you can toggle this little arrow here. And you can kind of have as many folders open as you want. I mean, I wouldn't recommend opening every folder in your computer, but maybe just a couple, especially if they're separated by grade or sport team or something like that. Um, it's a nice feature. So what I'm going to do, just for demonstration purposes, is I'm going to open a new folder if you guys aren't familiar with how to do that. Um, all we're doing here is browsing your computer for the folder that contains the images that we want to order. So I'm going to click on Add Image Folder. And I already have my demo folder up here for, for this. So what I want to do is select the demo folder. And anytime I select a folder, it's going to open up every image within that folder. So you want to be really careful if you have like a My Pictures folder, you don't want to open everything up. It's going to open subfolders, and probably don't want that. So my demo folder has a few images in it. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the folder like I've done, and I'm going to click Open. OK, and now you can see the images populated at the bottom. If I don't want to work on these images, I toggle, and it, they go away, and I can go back to these images. I'm going to just work on the smaller folder here, and let's get back to the packages. So we have our package created. If you want to save your package, you're happy with how everything looks, this is you know, how you define your package. The next step is to add it to your favorites. To add to your favorites, see how I'm hovering on the little heart with the plus sign. And this is our Save button. So save this as a new favorite product. Now favorites, I'll give you a heads up on this, they can be separated into groups as well. So I see a lot of our photographers, they'll create a group that contains uh, packages or favorites uh, for sports, because it might, they're sports products and packages might be different than senior or might be different than preschool. So for now, I'm just going to keep it under the Favorites tab. You'll see that in a second. Actually, I already have some. You can see I've done some other demos here. Um, going to go ahead and just type in. Well, I probably already have Package A up here. So we're going to call this one whoops, Package D. And I'll hit Enter. So and now you see it says Saved. And you can see my Package D is right here. 
Um, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to click on a different package so you can kind of see what happens when we go into each one. So what we did, package D, you know, is retained in here under our favorites. And you see I made one called demo groups as well. You can add something here. You can call it sports or preschool, whatever you want. And keep it more organized. So I'm on favorites right now. Package D is selected. And let's just say that this uh, boy, his parents ordered package D. All I need to do is drag and drop. You can see how everything populates at once. You can crop all at once if you want. Now this, is, this image looks like I've accidentally zoomed. Oh, that's the wrong way. It's a pretty close up image, so not the best for the example. Here, let me click on this one. So now you can see again, I can move this up and down. I can zoom in. Total control over all the products at once. I can highlight these crosshairs or click on them and I can move the images around or the templates. If you want to get a different view, okay, is that you can add multiple poses or groups within a package. And what I mean by that is that let's say this one that's um, two five by sevens. Let's say you wanted to do a different pose. You, didn't, you know, you want to give them two five by sevens different pose. Uh, you would go down here, this little radial button here. It says individual. We're going to click on that. And what's that? What that's going to do is going to break up all these little chains, quote unquote chains here, like these little blue guys, um, and they're going to be deactivated. So go ahead and do that. You can see now they're deactivated, which means I can go into each one when, when they're highlighted in blue, and I could do whatever I want. I could zoom in. Let's say I just want a different crop on this, or maybe I want a different pose. So I just drop in a totally different pose. So this is a really popular feature that they've added. I like it especially for things like groups. Um, you know, let's say you had um, a group picture. These were sports pictures. You could do your five by seven group along with you know their team picture, or excuse me, their individual picture. So there's some cool options here uh, by breaking up the packages. Now, you also notice here I have a, a flashing pink. It's kind of flashing on my screen a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. But it turned pink, and that's indicating that I've made some changes to my package. Um, the change was, the, was breaking it up and creating uh, an individual um, style package. So I can hit save, and that will retain the next time I launch this package. So now it's saved. So package D is now complete. So I can access this anytime. So let's say I wanted to go back to just regular prints. I wanted to go back to where we started. Um, we would click on the favorites again. Um, and now we're back to our original tabs. So we could continue to make more packages at this point. Um, and then let's say or if I just wanted to order some a la carte prints, maybe I needed a, a 16 by 20. You know, I click on that just like um, our standard rows. And there's my 16 by 20. I can add that to the cart. You know what, let me back up a second. I don't think I even added the package to the cart yet, so you can see what that looks like. So backing up, we're going to go back to the favorites, click on D, and he's, it did retain the last image I used. Um, so we can, let's say we want to order this print instead. And we still have the, uh, looks like the individual control has actually um, gotten turned off, so we can turn that back on if you wanted to, and use a different pose. And then when we're happy with how everything looks and the cropping is good, all we do is click Add to Cart. And then View Cart, so I can show you guys what it looks like. As you can see, we have our 1620 is the first item. And then Package D gives you the total price we're paying for the entire package, and then a summary with each um, item within that package. And then your summary, of course, is down here as well. And you, let's say I didn't like the cropping on one of these, or I wanted to switch images. This little kind of pencil icon here, you click on that. You can edit your item and go back. Now the add to cart has changed to a save. Let's say that I wanted to zoom in a little bit more on this one. OK, I like that. And I click Save. Let's view the cart make sure it looks good. Yep, it's changed now. So it's very easy to go back and edit. Um, this comes in handy, especially let's say you're ordering either uh, spec packages or you are you know just want to order. Let's say everyone, the popular package you have is package D. And like you know half the kids order package D. As long as your capture is on point and consistent, you could select multiple images at once. So let's pretend that she has package D, he has package D, and she also has package D. So we're going to click on, oh, let me go ahead and add that to the card, sorry. OK, I'm just get my package D back again. So now I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop. And now it's asking me if I want to add these three images in um, into the Lustre 8 by 10 size, each of the quantity one. It's really asking about package D. So we click Yes right there. It's automatically adding all those packages. We'll go to View Cart just to make sure it works. 
properly. So you can see how fast that was. Um, that's a pretty incredible way to add your packages and order pretty elegantly um, compared to you know dragging each one at one at a time. Um, as long as you are happy with the crops, then this could save you a ton of time. You saw how fast that was. So um, while I'm in the cart here, there's a few features I wanted to show as well other than just making the packages. Um, some of the features I think are really important for school portrait photographers, we have the show receipt button. If you click on that, it gives you an HTML version in your browser uh, that you can print or save to your computer. And that's just a summary of the order. It's basically this page right here um, launched into a different web page. Great for referencing things when you get the print in. Make sure everything matches up. Make sure you've ordered everything that you intended to. Um, and then on the right side, we have some different options here. Um, back printing is free. Uh, a lot of our photographers love this feature. Um, every print is, we print on Kodak Endura professional paper, and every print will already have an embedded copyright, uh, do not copy, that Kodak has already applied to the back. We also have one line of text that will include the uh, file name, also your order number, and um, so that, that's going to be consistently there. Now, the second line of text is where you can get creative or upsell or just give a thank you. So that's where you can write anything you want here. It's optional. Click this little radio button, activate it, and you can type in, you know, my studio, you know, thanks. So anything you want there. Um, and then we have an order reference, very popular as well, especially if you're separating things by school or grade or, or sport team. So you can just say, you know, first grade, and that's going to show up in your work order and also in your order history. And we have special instructions. Um, we also have the option for subject info which we'd be happy to talk to you guys about as well if that's something that interests you where you can um, have that printed uh, or placed as a label directly on the envelope. Um, there is, and I'm not going to get into this part today on the demo, and if you're interested, we do have an events tab. If your workflow includes a CSV file or a notepad file, this is where you could do an image match feature where your CSV file would be imported and you can match up the field and with the uh, image, image name and the package that the student ordered. So you really could just kind of, if you had that CSV completely filled out, you could add the entire order with one click, and then you would just review the order and upload it. Uh, I'll do one more package. I'm going to go to Units, and I'm going to select my anchor product to 8x10. And I'm going to add four 4x5s. Four Remember to click and drag. There's two uh, units there. And let's go ahead and add the 16 mini wallets, OK? So now all I need to do is drag and drop my image into the template. And of course, I can save this as a favorite, which I have not done yet. And that's going to be uh, by clicking the heart with the plus sign. So I'm going to save this one, package E. And hit Enter or Tab should save it. And now I've saved the. Uh, Package G. But, you know, I just realized one more thing that um, might interest you guys is that you can actually change the quantities here. So let's say I, I package E included two 8x10s. All you have to do is look for this drop down right here. Actually, let me activate my package E. There we go. Okay, so you look at this drop down here, and you can see the contents of package E. And let's say I needed two 8x10s. I would select my 8x10, change my quantity to two, hit enter, and now Again, you see this, pinking, this pink light right here, this pink uh, highlighted um, icon. We want to click that to save that. So now my package E does include a quantity of two 8x10s, as you can see right here. So when I add this in, and I can crop, and I add to cart, we should see the correct quantity. Yep, and there's our two 8x10s there. So creating packages is very simple. It's going to save you a lot of time if you're not already doing this. And definitely going to save you a lot of money. If you, can, you can see the pricing here in the cart, uh, 87 cents per unit. If you want color corrections by a uh, professional lab technician, it's $1.12 per unit. So both, both ways are awesome. Uh, hopefully save you a lot of money. Pass on the savings to your schools. Go ahead and wrap this up, and I hope this is really informative. And again, we can be reached at um, 800 315 -0420. That's 800 315 -0420. Uh, so thanks again for attending.